not being able to speak Dutch. I have lived here now for six months and it is definitely a very hard language. So I know a handful of words, but definitely not enough to present uh, about Azure <laughs> in Dutch. So today what I'm going to talk to you is about is I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how a product such as Skykick can really help you um, with your first step towards building an Azure practice. And I'm going to talk to, to you about it in a slightly different way than maybe you've been thinking about Azure. So if you're interested in starting an Azure practice but you're not really sure which way to go, this could be one um, way of starting to build out your recurring revenue stream around Azure without actually selling Azure. Experience with Office 365 and you're trying to work out, well, what, what else can I add on to this? Um, customer to increase the, the customer lifetime value or the ARPU and actually start transacting other things. And I'm sure uh, Microsoft is telling you, you know, think about the additional workloads, how are you going to activate Azure, how are you going to activate SharePoint Online, etc. There is no doubt that moving your business towards a managed services practice, towards package IP or towards some kind of recurring revenue model is the way to start growing your profits in the cloud. So you've probably all seen this slide before. I mean, I used to work at Microsoft myself and I used to present this slide over and over. And it's about moving away from the left, moving away from the transactional product resell and finding ways to cross-sell and upsell and add recurring revenue streams onto your um, existing customer. So using Office 365 as the base and then cross-selling and upselling other solutions to start building out your recurring revenue streams. Because the more recurring revenue um, subscriptions or offers you have in market um, over the years that will grow and that will obviously grow your profitability. And you know, as you're probably aware, um, you know, one dollar of everything you sell in the traditional way is worth one dollar in terms of valuation. But as a company, if you can move more towards a recurring revenue model, that really increases your business value. So in fact, it grows your valuation by around five times. So as you start building out recurring revenue streams, the value of your company also increases. Not only do your profits increase, but if you start you know, thinking about later down the track, mergers and acquisitions or, or selling or looking for, for investment funding to expand, then that recurring revenue model will really help you. So when it comes to Azure, what are some of the common scenarios? Um, the majority of customers are looking for Azure for storing their data. Obviously, storage is the number one priority. And storage, that includes data disaster recovery and also backup. And today, I'm going to talk to you a lot about backup as a way of uh, unlocking that first Azure workload. Um, obviously, once you've um, started with a backup solution to your customer and attached backup, the next stage is, is, well, how do I expand my Azure offerings and start configuring virtual machines or maybe even moving their websites uh, into an Azure hosted environment? So these are three of the, let's say, the, the building blocks of your Azure practice. So, you know, Skykit Cloud Backup is a service that can actually start helping you on this journey. So who is Skykick? I mean, hopefully many of you have already heard of us before, but in case you haven't, um, I'll give you a brief overview. So we were established around five years ago. We're a born in the cloud ISV. Um, we're 100% aligned to Microsoft. And our mission and our goal is to help partners like yourself become more successful and more profitable in the cloud. And we do that by delivering uh, various products that help you a, move your customers into the cloud, and then B, cross-sell and upsell to those customers once they're there. And as we grow, we're going to continue to release new products. You may have heard about our migration tools. That was what we were known for. We, we started off with a migration product that helped move customers from where they were to Office 365. And recently, about year, a year ago, we built Cloud Backup because a lot of customers were asking for a backup solution and there weren't any at the time really available that were backing cloud, Office 365 Cloud into, um, into the cloud, backing them up into the cloud. Uh, and I'll tell you more about that in a moment. We do have a product roadmap, so we are going to continue to roll out products that activate and um, help you sell additional Microsoft workloads. Uh, we have a very open platform. It's available for you however you want to consume it. 
Uh, you can buy it through Ingram, through their marketplace, and we're expanding out our marketplace offering, so you'll be able to buy everything through Ingram Micro from Skykick. Uh, or you can buy it direct, uh, even with, a, a, and with the invoicing that happens through Ingram. Or you can um, buy in a syndicated way, or even through APIs. But either way, however you want to consume our products, we have a service available for you. We're 100% partner only. We never sell to the end customer directly. And our goal is to make things for you, make business for you more efficient, more scalable, and therefore help you make more money. And we've sold all over the world to thousands of partners. And we have our um, offices here, actually, in Amsterdam that we're setting up for the European time zone. So um, what is it that we offer? We offer migration automation that moves your customers to Office 365. And we offer a backup solution that in only the space of a minute, you're able to configure a backup and restore missing files and folders that people have accidentally or intentionally deleted. And this gets backed up into an instance of Azure. So while you're selling um, to an Office 365 customer a finished product such as backup, you're actually activating an Azure subscription and able to start transacting Azure as the first workload um, towards building an Azure practice. So this is where our um, offices are located. Obviously our headquarters is in Seattle and from there we provide 24 hour support um, for the EMEA time zone. Uh, we also have offices in London and as I said, Amsterdam is becoming our European hub and we are going to have more staff and support people hired in the next six months to help build and support um, the business here in Europe. So our goal is to help you provide a, a great customer experience for your end customers every time by delivering really high value products that are well built and that are designed to automate and make things easy for you so that you can be more efficient. So to reduce the number of physical hours that you're spending doing cloud-related IT projects and convert those hours into value, um, you know, time saving that eventually converts into to profit. So our goal is really to help make you more profitable by driving efficiencies. All right, let's talk about cloud backup. Why cloud backup? What is it and why do we need it? So the number one question I always get asked is, you know, isn't Office 365 already backed up? Uh, it's backed up into a, a data center in Europe, so why do I need a backup solution? Well, the, the important thing or difference to note is that Office 365 um, is backed up for redundancy. So it's not actually a backup solution. Uh, it has a data center in Amsterdam, another data center in Ireland, and the goal is that if for some, for some reason something happens, a server goes down, there's a natural disaster, that data is fully replicated in another data center and can be restored if required. So it really helps drive the Microsoft SLA to ensure 99.9% .9 uptime. But if you have lost a document or your customer comes to you and says, you know, I've been the victim of crypto locker or my uh, employee has left the company and deleted all the files and I need to access that information, it's very, very difficult for you to find and recover that information for your customer. It takes time, uh, it costs you money and often um, by restoring that information, it never comes back in the same format in which it was deleted or it's not necessarily restored to the same location in which it was deleted. So the value of having a backup solution, with a few clicks you're able to restore missing information and get the customer back on track really quickly and easily without them experiencing downtime or lack of productivity due to data loss. So what is it that we offer? We allow you to back up all the data in an Office 365 subscription into Azure. So it takes the Exchange mailboxes plus the SharePoint plus the OneDrive and backs up all that data into Azure. Uh, you can choose which Azure account you want to back that up into. So the default is Skykick's Azure account. But as you start thinking about ways of delivering and selling Azure to your end customer, you could choose to sell an Azure CSP subscription and then attach backup and back up all the data into the customer's Azure account. And why would they want to use their own Azure? Well, firstly, a lot of ca customers require control. They want to know that they control that data in their own Azure account. 
and that that's available for them you know, if they need it. Um, they don't necessarily like to use the same um, Azure subscription as all the other customers. Sometimes a customer is, has their own Azure already and they'd like to bring that instead to utilise the value of that Azure account. Or you may um, want to start building out an Azure practice and backup is the first step, but you then want to also use that same subscription to configure a virtual machine, to back up the rest of the mail server, to, to you know, also perhaps move their websites and so forth into that Azure tenant. So the flexibility is yours. We recommend if you're interested in building an Azure practice, you start thinking about what are the various workloads that you want to put on that Azure tenant and backup, such as Skykick backup, could be the first step towards um, getting the customer there. So we not only back up the data, we make it really easy to restore missing um, or deleted documents and files. Uh, we have unlimited storage, so we take six snapshots a day and we don't charge you extra for any um, overages um, or any data uh, beyond that. We, we basically charge a basic monthly rate for the license. Now obviously if you bring your own Azure and you're bringing the customer's Azure account, they will have to pay for the data storage in the Azure tenant, whereas if they use the Skykick account, there's no additional data storage cost in the Skykick Azure tenant. However, the cost is super low. Uh, it basically backs up into a blob storage account, which generally costs two or three cents a gigabyte. So whether they use ours or bring their own um, Azure uh, account, the cost for backing up that data is pretty low. Um, it's super easy to install. Uh, there's, uh, it does an auto discovery of mailboxes. Um, there's nothing to actually download. It's a SaaS application that runs in the cloud. What's the value proposition for partners? Why would you, or and for customers, you know, why would they consider a cloud backup solution? Firstly, customers, they really, really want peace of mind. They want to know that their data is safe and secure in Azure. Um, and, and you're able to choose which Azure destination that you would like. So sometimes the customer would like their Office 365 account in one data center, but they'd like to use a data center in another location to back up their, their, um, their Office 365 servers. That can be done by just selecting a different data center. Um, it helps them restore productivity really quickly. So, you know, no worries about downtime. We recently had a case in Australia, a crypto locker case, where a legal firm um, was the victim of, um, you know, a malicious hacker attack. They basically locked down 40,000 files and folders and charged a ransom for that law firm to, to, um, to release those documents. Fortunately for that law firm, they were using Skykick Cloud Backup and we had them up and running um, with all their files restored in around six to eight hours. So they didn't really experience a, a massive loss or outage of downtime and were able to get back up and running without having to pay for the crypto locker for, for the ransom ransomware. So customers are really happy and satisfied with a solution like Skykick Cloud Backup and especially the way that it's a fixed price with unlimited backup and unlimited storage at no extra cost. In terms of you, the partner, why would it make, um, why, why would it be valuable for you to start selling a product like this? Well firstly, if you're starting to think about um, adding to your Azure practice, this is that first step towards building your Azure services. Um, it's actually an Office 365 backup solution, but it backs up into Azure. So it starts unlocking this conversation around building out an Azure storage tenant and start helping you have that conversation and leading your customer down an Azure journey without actually talking about anything that's too complicated for them to understand. It really helps you start building out your recurring revenue stream because we price it as a price at a price per user per month. Um, it's really profitable. So in general, um, partners will uh, double the cost, the licensing cost, and sell that as an, a finished service or even incorporate it into their managed services. And uh, the margin you can make on cloud backup is generally more than the margin that you can make on an Office 365 subscription on a monthly basis. It helps you lower your support costs. You don't have to spend hours trying to retrieve missing information. And you can do all of these things in one um, pane of glass. If you're already using us for migrations, you can simply attach backup to every customer and you can manage it all in the one portal. But what I'll do now is um, I want to tell you about an offer that we have in market. So um, if you're interested in backup, well firstly there's an internal use um, 
a product that you can use to set up and configure your own um, organisation to test the backup solution. And then if you're interested in selling backup, we actually have an offer that we've just launched, in fact just launched it today, where you can, uh, if you sell a backup solution to your customer, 12 month um, solution, you can also get a migration for free. So this is an exclusive uh, Skykick offer. We're calling the Skykick Accelerate Bundle. It's available through Ingram Micro. So if you're really interested in starting to think about um, Azure and building out an Azure practice, uh, this is a way to start um, testing the bundle, uh, launching, uh, testing the backup service and potentially for net new customers, also helping them move to the cloud by attaching, um, uh, uh, by delivering the migration for free. But I'll come back to you and talk to you about that in a moment. Before I go on, I just want to check if there are any um, comments or questions in the chat window. Any questions there, Ayub? I can't see any. No. No, no questions. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to show you how to um, configure an Azure um, backup solution using Skykit Cloud Backup. So hopefully you can all see my um, computer here. Just just testing, Ayub, can you actually see yeah. my desktop? Yeah. Great. Um, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're associated with Ingram Micro. So you go through, you sign up to Skykick, you go through to skykick.com Ingram Micro and you sign up to make sure you have a Skykick account. Once you have a Skykick account, it's as simple as logging into our portal. This is your portal where you can manage all of your projects. So what you can do here in the top left, you see this Acmetech logo. You can change that logo to actually have your own company name there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly configure a cloud backup solution. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, come here to the, the backup manager portal. So what you can see here is you can see all your customer subscriptions and the amount of data that's being backed up. And you can see that for the last three month period, for example. You can see any pending orders that you have in the system that are um, you know, about to become backup solutions. And you can also see any existing subscriptions that you have already configured. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a backup solution. So firstly, the first thing you can see here is if you are a Microsoft partner, you are probably eligible to um, Azure internal use licenses, which uh, Microsoft gives you a $100 credit per month that you can use um, to test Azure or to build an Azure account, set up your Azure account. Skykick has partnered with Microsoft, so you can use Skykick Cloud Backup for free uh, using your Azure MPN benefits. So if you're interested in learning more, simply click on this button here and it will tell you how to go in and configure your Azure account. So the first thing you need to do is go to MPN, you activate your um, IUR benefit. Uh, you can see here a step-by-step -step guide which actually walks you through the step-by-step configuration of how to set up your blob storage account and then you would come back to Skykick and register and then configure your backup like I'm showing you how to do now. So the first thing you would do is identify whether you want to back up the Exchange email boxes or the SharePoint documents or both and it's just simply turning them on or off which ones you wish to back up. We have two SKUs, one just for the mailboxes and then one for SharePoint and OneDrive um, uh, site collection. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put your customer name. Let's say your customer is Ingram Micro and we need to log in with your um, customer credentials. This is the Office 365 credentials to try to um, access the site collection, uh, access the Office 365 account to actually identify all the mailboxes and items that you wish to back up. So the first thing I'm going to do is check that I can actually make a connection to Office 365, which I can. Here you now get to select where you want that data to be stored. So which Azure tenant are you going to use? Are you going to use the Skykick one? So like I said, you can choose um, from a range of data centers that we have available. Uh, we have all the Azure data centers here. You can see um, we've recently added the UK. Uh, we've got Europe data centers as well. So you can select uh, the data center you want or you can bring your own. So if you've configured your IUR and activated your blob storage account, you would put here your account name and access key 
that was created when you set up your Azure storage account. And you would enter that, those details here and that would allow you to activate your internal use rights, your IUR benefit. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to use the European data centres. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the Exchange and the SharePoint mailboxes in the back end. And this only takes a moment. It basically does a quick discovery. It identifies all the um, individual users and the site collections so that you can start the configuration process. So it's found everything now and now we'll move to the next screen. So here you can configure the Exchange and then the SharePoint and OneDrive accounts. Um, so basically the first thing you can do is set the retention policy. So you can either set so that the data is never deleted or you can set so that the data is deleted after a period of time. So it just depends what the customer's requirements are. If they have a compliance um, requirement, they may want to keep the information indefinitely or they may need that data to be purged after a period of time. So depending on the customer's requirements, you can set the retention policy. Uh, you can also set the um, users to be automatically detected or manually detected. So that means if a new person joins the company and they configure a new account on the Office 365 um, tenant, then it will automatically detect that user and back them up automatically. Or if you want to set it manually so that you could reach out to the customer and have a conversation, you can also set it up manually depending on how you want to configure the users. And then it's as simple, as simple as turning them on or off. So let's say we don't want to back up these people but we want to back all the other users up. Um, this will show you that we've backed up these five users and these two we do not want to back up. It also identifies any public folders or shared mailboxes and you can of course choose to back them up or not back them up. And then it will give you a summary at the bottom of how many mailboxes you're planning to back up. So in this instance, we're going to back up eight users. And that's it. The exchange is configured. Similarly with SharePoint, what it will do is, again, you can set up set the retention policy. Let's set it for the same period. Um, let's set to the users to be automatically identified. And these are the site collections that we identified on Office 365. And you can decide which ones you want to back up. So you may not want to back up the test environments um, or you may want to back them all up. It's up to you. It's also identified that in this account um, there are three users that are, have configured their OneDrive and you can choose to back up the OneDrives as well. Um, now the important thing here is that we charge licenses back based on the number of users in Office 365 who access the SharePoint, not based on the site collection. So you can see here that there are seven people in the Office 365 account who are able to access the SharePoint and therefore the licenses that will be charged for se are seven. So even if you turn all of these off, you will still see that it will back up seven SharePoint users because there are seven people within the organisation that actually um, have access to SharePoint. So that's what we will license for. And it's as simple as that. The summary page just gives you a summary of your payment situation and your invoicing situation and then you're done. You place the order. Simple as that. So again, I'm going to stop and just check if there are any questions in the window. No, I can't see any questions. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you recover a file. So let's say uh, we go down to this subscription that we've already set up. So let's take this, dem this customer for example. So Yakima Valley. Uh, we're backing up to, uh, to an Azure account, we're backing up their SharePoint and their OneDrive and their Exchange and you can see the amount of data that's being backed up. You can see how many mailboxes are being up, backed up and when was the last backup. So when did we last um, send some data and, and back up that data to Azure? Um, we will notify you if there are any alerts that you might need to take advantage of or you may need to action. Um, for example, a restoration may have failed, contact Skykick, or you know, um, whether it'll notify you when mailboxes and items were successfully restored, for example. But let me just show you how you can search for a missing folder or file. So for example, Earl has lost his dinner reservation for a Microsoft event and he needs that invitation um, to be able to join the event. 
So it's as simple as typing a word. It will search on the subject line and look for that um, item, identifying the item where it was, and then you know it will restore it back to the location it was deleted from. So let's say we're looking for this one here. Um, this one we want to put it back into the, the inbox, clicking restore, and it will be restored. And then there's a lot of advanced functionality to help you narrow the search. Um, you can search on attachments, who sent it by, date range, and you can even browse the actual folder structure of the email of the particular customer. So I just repeat, this is all the data that's being backed up into Azure, and you can use this console or this um, portal to um, retrieve any data or documents that may have been deleted accidentally or intentionally from that Azure storage account and return it to their Office 365 subscription. Similarly with SharePoint, you do a similar search on a file, you look for a strategy document, let's say, and it will search on all the documents in there, um, whether they're PowerPoints, whether they're Acrobat files, and if versioning is turned on in SharePoint Online, you'll be able to retrieve a previous version of that document, which happens all the time in companies. You overwrite a particular document and then you realise instead of changing the file name, you've, you've copied something over the top of it and you want to go backwards and it's very difficult to retrieve that previous version. But you can with Cloud Backup. So that's all I want to show you in terms of the actual tool itself. I'm going to go back to the application. I just want to go back to the presentation. So how do you sell Backup and how do you make money out of it? Um, most of our partners are actually incorporating it into their managed services offerings. So they're saying to the customer, you know, you've got Office 365, I'm charging you a monthly support package or, you know, services package. I can offer you a premium service and that will also include cloud backup or they're just absorbing it in the cost of their managed services. Or the other way to do it is you just sell it as a license and you add your margin and you make your money that way and you sell it as a recurring revenue stream. You can also um, allow the customer to do their own restorations or you can do it uh, on, on their behalf. In terms of the pricing, um, the basic price is €1.80 per mailbox per month per user and for SharePoint again it's €1.80 one per user per month. So the total value is €3.60 but we know that partners generally sell that to the end customer for around six euros for both services per month. And if you sell it at six um, euros per user per month, uh, that you'll earn in terms of gross mar margin over a 12 month period around 28 euros. And actually if you look at um, what you earn when you sell Office 365 Business Premium for example, you know, you sell that to the customer at roughly 10 euros a month and the gross margin on that, if you take the full 20% that's available through the CSP program, assuming you take the full 20%, the, the gross margin on that will be 25 euros. So just simply attaching backup to every single Office 365 account will actually double the margin that you're earning today by just selling Office 365. So backup will help you incre increase your profitability through growing your margin. Uh, it will also allow you to start building your Azure practice and if you want to add your own or bring your own customer Azure subscription, you can start even earning the Azure consumption revenue fees by the data that's being stored and backed up and stored in that Azure tenant. And the goal of this is to really help you to cross-sell and upsell to your existing customers to increase the customer lifetime value or the ARPU that you're generating from those customers. And obviously divide it, uh, providing a lot of value by offering them a service that they really want and need. So I just want to focus a moment on the actual bundle promotion that we have. So we've just launched it today, like I said, and basically what we're offering is uh, the opportunity to get the SkyKit Cloud Backup, that's both licenses, the Exchange and the SharePoint Online uh, OneDrive Backup, um, for a reduced price and a free migration. So you can see here on the left, the structure of a normal deal. You would go and sell Office 365 to your customer. You would then kick off a migration project and that migration is usually around 40 euros per mailbox. And then you would cross sell and upsell uh, cloud backup which is usually around 43 euros per year for both of those users or for, for each user for both of those um, SKUs. 
And then on top of that, you charge the customer your managed services fees. Well, normally that is 83 euros of value if you're doing a migration and backing up all of those users, but you will pay only 32 euros 50 for the, per user per year. That's 61% savings. So you can see here on the right an example of how that plays out. If you've got a new Office 365 potential customer, they're thinking about Office 365, if you convince them to move to Office 365 and to back up their solution, um, you would be able to save the 1,600 euro migration cost. We give that to you for free. Uh, you would attach cloud backup, which is normally $1,700 for those 40 users per year, but we'll, you'll sell it at 1,300 euros per year. So the total cost to that customer, or the total cost to you, you can still add your margin and sell to the customer, but your total purchase price will be 1,300 euros, and that would normally cost you 3,300 euros. So that would save you 2,000 euros, more or less, or 61%, that you can choose to add a margin to or give the migration for free, however you want to do it. I mean, that would normally be priced to the end customer as a 6,000 euro project. So you can either pocket the margin, which is 79%, or you could um, charge them a little bit more for the migration, etc. Um, yeah, so you can either pocket the whole margin, or uh, if you if you sell it at 1,300, or you you could price it how you wanted to to um, bring in the value to the customer. So hopefully this has showed you how you can start thinking about building out your Azure practice using a finished product like something like Cloud Backup. So even though you're activating in the Azure account, you're actually selling something different. You're actually selling a backup solution for Office 365. And so it's an easy way to go to your existing customers and start having a conversation around Azure without actually selling Azure. You're actually selling a backup solution. Um, and this is a great way to start building out your recurring revenue streams and starting to um, think about how you cross-sell and upsell other Azure services on top of that existing subscription. So like I said, um, make sure you take advantage of the Microsoft IUR. You're eligible uh, for a $100 credit a month. And by simply following those steps that I showed you earlier, you can activate your Azure IUR and test this backup solution in your own environment and see if you're interested in using it and how you would start selling it to your customers. And we provide you with free support 24 hours a day to actually help you um, with any of your Skykeek needs, whether it's whether you're in your migration projects or even um, how you can price or sell or transact backup or even how to configure your Azure Blob Storage account to, to set up your um, the Azure storage for the cloud backup. So in terms of next steps, uh, if you want to learn more, um, go to skykick.com, um, register, make sure you assign yourself to Ingram Micro, activate your IUR benefits, uh, talk to IUB or the team at Ingram. They can tell you a lot about our services and how you can, um, you know, target new customers and, um, you know, t make money out of selling Skykick. Uh, take advantage of that Accelerate bundle. Uh, if you've got any projects coming up, You've got a way to do a free migration and attach backup. It's just a matter of getting into the habit of actually pitching and selling a backup solution to your customers. And finally, visit our Skykick Help Center where we've got a lot more information. So with that, I've presented uh, Azure Cloud Backup, saved you a bit of time. I just want to check if there's any questions. Uh, I'll unmute everyone so there's uh, room for questions. Everyone's very quiet. <laughs> can I just ask you if you can see this as a way or, or a great, great solution to start cross-selling for your customers, to start activating their Azure subscriptions? Feel free to just pop a reply in the window. Well, hopefully you're still there and you've enjoyed the presentation. Um, please feel free to contact us at any time, either you or myself. There are my, there's my email um, details. If you'd like more information, I'd be more than happy to share it with you. Thanks so much for your time today. Thanks yes. to you. Okay, no worries. Uh,
I see question if I'm not mistaken. Oh, just thanks. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop the recording from here. Uh, thanks, Catherine. And uh, everybody, thanks for joining the webinar.